2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Champions Invitational. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player is trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Currently top five, lots of golf left. This should be an exciting shootout. Lots of golf to be played. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. That one was fired out of a cannon. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Puff of wind blowing right to left. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Nine feet to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. A good stroke. Well, that's a nice way to start, writing a little red number down on the school card at the first. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And that finds him in a share of second. Time to tee off at the second. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Second shot on the second. That was wonderfully done. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, almost went in. Nicely done. Putting for birdie. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Next up is this two-shot hole. Well, let's see if they can roll off that birdie at the last. Lovely momentum here. That's tidy. Time for the second shot into the third. Well, that's a handy shot. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Nice little putt to hole, that one. He's currently sitting in third place. And 
they be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Off the tee, your eyes look down the left-hand side and see two massive bunkers and obviously the water. So anything right of that is just fine. If you find the fairway, second shot is downhill just a little bit to a long, narrow green that has got bunkers down the right-hand side. Distance control with that second shot is absolutely imperative if they want to have a good look at birdie. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. for the 9-iron. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. A bit short with that effort. Wow, that almost went in the hole. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Now three strokes back after that hole. Here we are at the sixth pole. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. This would be a great up and down. It was on a good line. Putting for par. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. We have a par five on this one. <laughs> yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Second shot here on the seventh. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Setting up here with a very long putt. <sighs> oh, that's frustrating. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Seven feet to the cup. It's looking solid. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day.
trailing by a couple of strokes now. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks to be going with the six iron. And he's safely on the green. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup, this is their look at birdie. Oh, just missed. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Three feet to go here to the hole. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. And let's have one more look at that shot. Perfect distance, perfectly judged. And look at that. Straight in the hole. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. As we head now to the par five next. Nice hole, the last one coming off that eagle. Let's see what's in store for us now. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the tenth hole. going with the hybrid that's nicely done this part for top spot on the leaderboard or at least a share of it That's a big time putt, that one. And their rival knows it too. They heard the cheers. And that makes him tied for first. This hole here is a par four. Just a slight bit uphill off the tee shot. Find a spot at that far bunker, Luke, that you want to aim at and go ahead and turn it loose. From there, second shot goes over a nice little meandering stream that wanders throughout the golf course to a green, clover-like in, in appearance. But I gotta say, this is really one of the coolest holes on the golf course. I love it.
Not bad. Time for the second shot at the 11th. This one looks to be heading towards the green. The perfect wind swing. Nice and easy. This putt is of nine feet. Looking good so far. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. to have opted for the eight iron. That's inside the house of opportunity. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is downhill, can't be too bold. Big putt to make that one. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. He's currently tied for first. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well, thankfully, it's slightly downhill off the tee. But yes, avoid those bunkers down the right-hand side. And of course, that meandering brook that is a feature of this golf course. Big hitters can actually take it over everything down their right-hand side. But that's for the brave few. Second shot downhill slightly to a massive green. Just some big bunkers on the left-hand side, but plenty of bailout room over to the right. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Opting for the five iron. Oh, that's a great shot and sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. This putt is about eight feet. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. We have a par four on this one. And he's down there. Got to make sure to control the flight here because the wind was well, straight into their face. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That's a good looking shot there. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cup. Yeah. 
Hmm. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Now leading by one shot. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. That's not the one he wanted. Henny, what's the player facing here? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. And choosing the eight iron here. Getting ready to play their third. Currently in the lead by a shot. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for a par now. drops and we're moving on and after that performance they'll stay right where they are in the standings there's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole Pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Wynn got that one and took it wayward. That is absolutely brilliant. The rarest of shots. Oh, gotta love it. Chip it in for birdie. Nothing better. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Oh, yeah, look at those hands. What a chip shot. After that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay by a stroke. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Uh, great shot. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the pitching wedge here. Uh-oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. Now, a little off the mark on that approach shot. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. Didn't that look good for a long time? Lovely touch. Well played. Love watching this player around the greens. Nicely hold. And for par. He's currently in a share of top spot. Let's head to the final hole of this round. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway.
Luke, do not buy any lottery tickets tonight. You're absolutely wrong where that golf shot ended up. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. I didn't see that outcome from that lie. That was great work. So exciting to have an eagle putt here. signs off on today's round oh what a shot that was why don't we revisit the magic they got their putting boots on here look at how this ball rolls end to end thing of beauty